Hey guys! So, in the previous video, we assembled the Creality Ender 3, and at that time I mentioned about two major safety issues that needed to be addressed ASAP. The first issue is the high current wires that don't have furls, and that was immediately fixed during the build. The second issue is the firmware that does not have the thermal protection enabled. So now we will fix the firmware issue by updating it with the better version and which includes the thermal protection. This procedure works for the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro. Now let's start by gathering the following parts that we need to do this. One thing you need is an Arduino. You can use an Arduino Uno or a Mega. I will use the Mega because that's what I have here. Some wires. Try to get these female to female ones and one of these male to male. This one will be used to make a long male to female extension. You will need a USB cable with a Type B connector in on one side and one USB cable with a type mini B connector on one end. And of course the firmware and a PC. Before we start we need to download the firmware. You need to go to this website and download the full package firmware. Once the download is completed, extract everything and click on open firmware windows. If by any reason this file doesn't work, simply go to the Windows Arduino folder, load the Arduino software and then load the sketch. The firmware file that you need to open is inside the firmware folder and with the name th3duf-r2.ino. This is the firmware but you need to install the bootloader first and for that you will need to use the Arduino. Connect the USB cable to the Arduino and let's begin to flash the bootloader. Go to your PC and first check if everything is connected. Go to your device manager and check if the Arduino is being recognized and which COM port it is in. If it's not being recognized, just install the drivers located in the driver folder of the firmware we just downloaded. In the Arduino software, go to Examples and select Arduino ISP. This will open a new Arduino window and it's in this new window that we will work on at this point. Next, under Tools, select the Arduino type that you are using and select the same COM port that you just checked in the Device Manager. Make sure you have the AVR ISP MK2 programmer and then click on Upload. Once done, connect the Arduino to the Ender 3 board. Open the panel to access the printer's board and look for the ICSP connector. We will use the ICSP connection of the Arduino to connect to the ICSP connection of the printer board. If you have an Arduino Uno, the pinout is this one. And if you have an Arduino Mega, the pinout is this one. Just remember that you need to match the pins on the board with the ones of the Arduino, except the reset pin on the Arduino side, that we will connect to pin number 10. And for that, you will need that male to female extension wire. Next, under Tools, select Sanguino. The COM port is the same and in the programmer select Arduino as ISP. Now click on Burn Bootloader. This will take a few seconds. And when done, remove the Arduino. The first step is now complete. We have installed the bootloader. Now let's work on the firmware itself. Close the ISP window and work only on the firmware window. Before we can proceed with the flash of the firmware, we need to change a few things on the firmware. The first is to select which printer we are using. 
The firmware package can be used for many printers, so we need to tell the firmware that our printer is an Ender 3. So search for this line here and uncomment by deleting the first couple of slashes. If you have an Ender 3 Pro, you will modify this exact same line as both the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro have the same board, drivers and so on. Next, you have some optional things you can change, and being optional means that you change them only if you want to. One of them is the writing on the display when in idle. You can type the text you want here. It can be something like printer ready or your name or something like that. You can choose to have the boot screen or not and which boot screen you want either the stock one or the custom one. You can choose to be able to modify and calibrate the extruder steps. This means that you can calibrate the extruder and type here the new value. For that, uncommon and change the E steps. Next, you have the power loss recovery. In this package, the power loss recovery is disabled and here is the reason why. You can enable it by deleting the first two slashes. Next are the home offsets. If you want to control and edit the home offsets, uncommon this line here and change the values. Next you have the linear advance. If you want to work with the linear advance feature, uncommon this line here. The jerk and acceleration control mode can be found in these lines. Uncommon them if you want to have the new S-curve acceleration control. Keep in mind that you cannot have this S-curve acceleration control and the power resume at the same time. The baby steps are already enabled, so you don't need to change anything for that. Last is the language. You can change the language of the display menus here. Check your language from the list and change this line here with your language code. Connect the USB cable to the PC and to the printer. Go to Tools, Board and select Sanguino. Confirm the new COM port of the printer board and for the programmer select AVR ISP MK2. Click on Verify and check that everything compiles correctly. And now we are ready to flash the firmware. Click on Upload and wait for the confirmation. When done, you will see the printer display restart. If you don't get any errors on the Arduino window, it means that you have successfully flashed the firmware. Last but not least, initialize the EEPROM to clear it out to the default values. And to do that, go to Control and then Restore Failsafe. And that's it you guys, job done! Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow us here on YouTube for more cool 3D printing videos. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We will see you guys next time. Bye!